Hello Young Thugs! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and watch my other videos. Today I'm going to be doing my go-to makeup and I'm going to be giving you two different lip colors. The Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Poise K and Coco K. Say hello to Chloe. Most beauty gurus I see have their bring their dogs in, bring their cats. I'm no cat lady, I'm a bunny lady, and she says hello. So if you want to see how I achieve my go-to makeup look, just keep on watching. Let's get started. First, I'm going to um, put a moisturizer on my face, and I'm going to be using a nighttime cream, which is kind of weird, but it's a tightening, firming skin one. So um, this one... Just a drugstore night cream. Then I'm going to take um, the Kiss Lip Scrub by Lush. I'm pretty sure this is a limited edition. I got this during Valentine's Day, and it was a Valentine's Day um, edition, so I don't know if it's going to still be available, but um, it has little hearts in it. After I do that, I just want to put a little bit of EOS lip balm on just while I'm doing my makeup before, just to keep them hydrated. All right, now I'm going on to primer, and um, I got this idea from Nikki Tutorial, so thank you. But um, I'm going to be using the Post Shape Balm by Navina Men, and it's sensitive, and it's in this case. So I put about a dime size and you want to do this in downward motions to um, lay our hairs on our face downward all right next we're gonna go on to foundation and I use L'Oreal Lumi and I'm in the shade N12 I do a few pumps on the back of my hand, but about three, it depends on how I'm feeling. And I first dot this. At this point you look like a freak. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking my MAC 187 stippling brush and I'm going to stipple this all over. Alright, after I stipple, you still look like a crazy person, so I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend this all out. Alright, after that, then I like to powder my face before I do a contour or a highlight, just to mattify this and today I'm taking the cover girl um, and I am in shade 110 and this is the professional blend and I have used this since I ever started makeup and it's been my favorite so now pat this we're not going to swipe that will move our foundation and that's not what we want we want full coverage we want it to stay there we're just trying to set our foundation now After all powdered up, we're going to move on to contouring. Chisel those cheeks. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit in light to medium. This is the powder palette. Um, I usually contour with powders. I'm going to be taking the Eco Tools, and it's a brush that is flat on the bristles, and then it's just it's pretty dense, but I like this for contouring because it has that straight line. So I'm going to be taking um, the cool tones. My I feel like I'm more of a cool tone, so I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two shades. So I'm just going to dip right into them like this. And then I'm going to make a kissy face, and I'm going to move it to the side. And that will get your cheekbone out. 
know I look ridiculous, but then I'm going to do it to the same side, make sure that they're equal. Hi. Now we gonna blend, blend. And I do circular motions and really like go upwards, I don't go down, don't go down. I'm trying to make those cheekbones go higher. After you do that, I'm going to take another mixture of those two, but I'm going to take the flat side this time, and this is where I'm going to put it into my temples and around my forehead. But I'm going to start down and do a little like circular motions. Now I'm going under the chin. contouring is done. I'm moving on to highlighting and I'm going to be taking this Master Conceal and this is by uh, Face Studio. This is a heavy duty concealer. Literally this much will do probably your all your under eyes. So I do it like everybody else and I put it in kind of a triangle motion or triangle shape under my eyes. Then I take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend this out. Alright, now I'm going to highlight the rest of my face and I'm just going to take another little dab. Um, take like a little bit and I'm just going to do like a little Little worm going down my nose. <laughs> Few dots on my forehead. Don't want to accentuate that too much. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to blend that out. Alright, now I'm going to set that highlight. And I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour and Highlighting Kit again. And I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. brush. I They don't have numbers or whatever, but I use this for highlighting, for my powder, you know, to set my concealer, and for my shimmer highlight. So I'm going to first be taking this brush, and I'm going to dip into the banana powder and the, oh, and the lightest shade on this side. Not the shimmer shade, but the other shade. I'm just going to mix these two. Alright, next I'm going to chisel out this nose. So I'm going to be taking um, this Ecos tool again. I just love this straight edge. It's even easy to chisel out this nose. So I'm going to be taking just the cool tone, and that is this one. Once that nose is on fleek, I'm moving on to blush, and I'm going to be taking Dandelion by Benefit, my favorite blush right now, and I keep the little blush brush because it's perfect. It's like perfect, so dip into that. I do this again. I put my blush higher than most people. I That's just how I like it, so... Then I'm going to go on to eyebrows. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And first I'm going to take the spoolie side and just comb through these Cl up close and personal with you. Alright. My eyebrows are pretty um, much the shape I want them to be. I've worked on them a lot to grow them to be the shape I want. But I'm just going to fill in the parts that haven't grown how I want them to. Light, wispy motions. You don't want to, you know, press hard and do blunt lines because 
that doesn't get your eyebrows to look more natural. And then I'm gonna set this with a brow gel and I'm taking the Ardell brow gel today. All right, and my eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to be moving on to my eyes. And I'm first going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to put that all over my lid. All the way up to that brow. A little bit under. Alright, now I'm going to set that with a neutral color from the Carly, Carly Bible Palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be taking this lightest shade with my MAC 239 brush and this is just a regular lid brush that pigment though alright now I'm going to be taking my first transition shade with my MAC 221 brush and this is just um, a fluffy crease brush. I'm going to be dipping back into the Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to be taking this um, neutral light brown shade. And I'm going to be buffing that into the crease. Now I'm going to be taking my second transition shade. And this is just a little bit darker than the first. And it's more of a mauve purpley color and it resembles more of our natural shadows on our bodies. I'm going to be taking that on the same brush and just packing that and blending it out in the crease. Right now I'm going to be taking a mixture of the darkest shades on this palette. This dark purpley mauve shade and this dark dark brown taking my other brush by MAC, the 239, and I'm going to be packing that into my crease, and I'm just interchanging between them, just to mix them, and I'm just focusing on my crease here. For my everyday makeup, I don't like to do too dramatic. Um, this is just keeping it done up but not too much and I put that into the corner too a little bit and then I get it into the crease like this now I'm going to blend that out with my 232 or 221 now I'm going to be taking that dark mauve shade just by itself on my um, 221 and pushing it into that corner And then I'm gonna a little bit of blend. I just really want that concentration to be in the corner. Now I'm moving on to the lid, and I'm going to be taking this champagne color, and I'm going to be just putting that right on to the center part of the lid right here, and into my inner corner. Ooh, girl! Can you see me? Can you see me, Venus? And then, just to get that seamless line of transition, I take my 221 again, and I really just blend that out. Alright, last with the eyeshadow, I'm going to be doing my under eye, and I'm going to be taking the first transition shade with my... 239 and just putting that into my underwater line. Not in the water line, but on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking that second transition shade and putting that just on top of it. I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing I did on the top, just on a smaller scale. Then taking the mixture of those darker ones. And focusing this really close to the lash line. And then the purple by itself, and I'm packing this in. 
All right, now we're on to eyeliner, and I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs, um, I think this is Blackul. <laughs> this is a little sample I got from um, Sephora, and I'm in love with it. It has a very cool little um, twist up. You don't have to sharpen it. I'm like, thank God. So I'm going to be putting this right into my... Then I like to buff that out just a little bit with my 239. All right, now for the legendary winged eyeliner. I'm taking my Wet n Wild uh, Mega Liner, and I'm just going to create that wing. That's it for the liner. Let's go on to mascara now, and I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I've been trying this new mascara, and it's um, CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. With the um, bristles on the tip because of your outer eyelashes, so... Longer. And... Today I'm going to be using the Ardell 110 Lashes. I'm going to be using the Revlon Lash Glue. It is my favorite. And I'm just going to put a thin line on the lashes. Going to wave this and blow on it so it can dry a little bit. Before we put it on, it makes it tacky and easier to set on the lash line. First, you want to set it into the middle, closing your eye a little slightly, and see how it got onto the center? Okay, now you're going to pull, and I secure the ends first, and then I will secure. I like these lashes because they're not too much, they're just right. Alright okay guys, that is done with the eyes. Now we're going to be doing my favorite part and that's highlighting. And I'm going to take the highlights from the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to be mixing two of them. Um, I like to be seen from Venus, you know, she was saying hi the other day. so. Um, I'm going to be taking the lightest one and this um, champagne color and I'm going to be dipping into these and mixing them. Don't need a lot. Making this face again and you're going to apply this at the highest part, parts of your face and you've probably heard this a million times and, but here we go. Keep his bill. That's it for highlighting. And today I'm going to be giving you two lip options. I just got Poise K and Coco K in um, yesterday. And so we're going to do lips with these two. What I'm going to do is Coco K. Alright guys, this is the finished look with Coco K as the lip. Grips on your ways, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away. Even when I'm away. O T O T Now let's do Poise K. All right, and this is the finished look with Poise K. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. 
One more time for I go Higher powers taking a hold on me I need a one dance Alright guys, and to finish off this whole look, I'm going to be um, setting my face with the Urban Decay um, Chill Makeup Spray. I about crap my pants because I realized that this wasn't the all-nighter, which I thought it was. I don't know. So um, I have the Chill and it works amazing. So I'm going to douse myself in some setting spray. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you back on my channel. Remember I always encourage you guys to leave comments and tell me what you're thinking and your great ideas of what you want me to do next. I should be coming up with a birthday haul. My birthday was on Wednesday and I got a lot of new makeup and brushes and everything. Just not everything has come in yet but there would definitely be a birthday haul with a great look and so you guys have to stay tuned for that um make sure to subscribe and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up for me that'd be great i'd love it <laughs> all right i love you young thugs and i'll see you later Tonight, where do you want